I'm Katie and welcome to a new hair tutorial. I'm going to be starting off by doing a faux undercut. And how I'm going to start this is with a French braid. Right here on a side parting, I'm going to be using the part that is the smallest. And I'm going to be doing a pretty tight detailed French braid, having it slope from the top of the part to behind my ear to across the nape of my neck. And switch your hands over if that makes it easier as soon as you get to back to the crown of your head. That is always easier for me. I like to use my thumb to catch any hairs at the nape of my neck. You still might miss one or two. That happens frequently and you can always go back and with a bobby pin tuck them into place. Once I get it all the way across my neck, now I'm going to secure it with bobby pins. You're gonna need at least two, one coming in from the bottom, one coming in from the top, and you're gonna lock them together in a crossing pattern. You can see I'm catching that loose hair there and pinning that up into place and also locking that pin in with the others. Check and make sure this is comfortable for you because usually if you lock more than two pins together, it can catch hair and pull it and you don't want that. You want this to feel very comfortable. So now I want this hair out of my face. I'm gonna be starting this braid right in the middle as I typically do because I want that sweeping pattern. It's so much more attractive to your facial features if you have hair just sweeping across your forehead rather than being extremely pulled back. You can do towards the front if you're going for a more sporty look or if you're a very young child, that looks great. But for me, I like to have a more graceful, romantic draping effect. So again, I did a French braid. As you can see, I started from the part and I braided down with a French braid until I had most of the hair from the front incorporated in, and then I stopped. So not all the hair in front of the ear. You want to braid down about half the length of hair that you have left, and that's a really nice look. If you enjoyed this style, please give me a thumbs up to let me know, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any future hairstyles. Thank you so much for watching.